Welcome to the unboxing of the GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition, which I just picked up as a closeout at Costco because GoPro this past fall just released the Hero 3 Plus editions of their black, silver, and white. It came with the GoPro frame, which is a special frame for the camera and mounts that are optional accessories from GoPro, bundled together at the same price that you would pay for just the normal GoPro Silver Edition. So it was a good deal and it was a closeout and I'll explain in just a second why I went with the three over the three plus Silver Edition. So you see here how the packaging's a bit different in the bundled edition from Costco. The Hero 3's key camera specs are 1080p at 30 frames a second, also 960p at 48 frames a second, and 720p with up to 60 frames a second. It's also an 11 megapixel still camera, which can also do 10 frames a second in burst photography. In addition, it has the Wi-Fi built into it and is compatible with the Wi-Fi remote or the free app that's available for iPhones and Android devices. Going a bit further into the specs on the camera, as well as the 30 frames per second available at 1080p, you also get the PAL 25 frames a second and also 24 frames a second. The view angle at 1080 is wide angle, medium, and narrow. At 960, you get the 48 frames per second, but you also get 30 and 25, and ultra wide is the only option available in the view angle. The 720p offers up to 60 frames per second, 50 for PAL and 25 for PAL, also 30 frames per second at the ultra wide angle. And if you want incredible action capture or you want incredible slow motion at the VGA level, which is 800 by 600, basically four by three computer and the ultra wide angle, you can uh, do that. One of the reasons I decided on the Hero 3 over the Hero 3 Plus, which is the newer edition and has a few extra added attractions over the three, were two huge items, in my opinion, they eliminated from the 3 Plus Silver Edition. That being the ability to shoot in 24 frames a second at 1080p, that's been eliminated from the 3 Plus. Also, ProTune has been eliminated from the Silver Edition of the 3 Plus. ProTune is basically a video mode that enables cinema quality video for professional applications. And so for those of us who want to take a step up to the professional level once in a while, or at least have the ability to do some post-production work, ProTune was very important to me, and that's why I went with it. Also, the 24 frames per second filming rate at 1080p was important because that matches professional film quality at 24 frames a second. And that was eliminated from the 3 Plus along with ProTune. You have to step up to the Black Edition instead of the Silver Edition of the 3 Plus if you want those features, and that costs more and is a little more camera than I need. The major advantages to the 3 Plus over the 3 that I gave up were basically a bit clearer picture quality, a little bit cooler color levels, a slightly smaller waterproof case that cannot, however, go as deep as the case that comes with the 3.0, and additional battery life. You're most likely going to get an extra battery for yourself, so that really doesn't come into play. The photo mode of the camera shoots at 11 megapixels, 8 or 5. Now, 11 megapixels is larger than the current silver edition of the 3 Plus. That only goes to 10 megabytes. It has a burst rate at 11 megapixels of 10 frames a second, which is great. It also has the time lapse option from a half a second up to 60 second intervals, which is great for shooting time lapse photos. In addition, it has the built in Wi Fi, as I mentioned earlier, which will work with the GoPro app, which eliminates the need for the Wi Fi remote control. However, it's also compatible with that if you want to pick that up as an optional accessory. So what else is in the box? It comes with two quick release mounts, one curved and one flat adhesive mount, and a three-way pivotal arm. So what we're going to find when we unbox this, of course, is the Hero 3 Silver Edition camera, the waterproof housing, which is a bit larger than the Hero 3 Plus's waterproof housing, but it goes to greater depths than the new one does, 197 feet or 60 meters. We also, the associated mounts and hardware that we just talked about, and the rechargeable battery. Now, since I got this at Costco in a bundle, the GoPro frame option came with this, a $39.99 retail value, which includes the standard frame, the backpack frame, which is a little bit bigger than the standard frame to accommodate either the LCD screen that's an option for the camera or the additional optional battery that can click on the back. It also comes with a lens cap and an additional flat and curved adhesive mount. The camera does not include the micro SD card, so I picked up a SanDisk 32 gig, 30 megabyte per second SDHC card. Let's get right to it. Take a look at the Hero 3 from the outside in. 
Again, the packaging a bit different than you would get in the store just buying the Hero 3. So lifting off the cover on the camera, you'll see that it comes with a nice mount. That's the basic stand mount. This will be great for keeping it clean and dust free when you're not using it if you don't have a case by just keeping the plastic cover over it and the camera on the mount. The stand is attached with glue to the top of the box and uh, it takes a little tug of war to get it off. The stick plates on the bottom are also removable. So as we start to unbox, we come across the manual, which is 58 pages long and includes everything you need to know about it. And additionally, of course, you have the warranty, which is probably very important to go through in this particular item more than others that you may buy electronically because of the vigorous applications you may put this electronic device through. Digging deeper now and opening the flaps, we find inside another two flaps, but beyond that, all of the accessories that are inside the box. The two adhesive mounts, one curved and one flat, an additional back door for the clear housing that's not waterproof and allows sound and air to go through. The rechargeable battery. And then this is the three-arm pivotal mount that attaches to one of the two quick-release mounts, which acts very much like a buckle. It slides into the actual mounts themselves. You also have the charge cord and data cord that attaches to the computer and a few GoPro stickers that you can put someplace. Now opening up the pack that has the adhesive mounts in them, you can see how the quick release works. It slides right in and out, very tightly by the way, it's not easy. It's made tight so that the camera does not move in the housing. So it's a bit of a push to get it in and out. also have the extra safety strap for certain purposes. Now let's take a look at what's inside the frame. Now I know that this is not standard equipment, so those of you who did not buy the bundle will not get this, but as we take this out, you'll see how the frame works. You may want to buy this as an option for your camera. It's pretty slick. It's designed to go around the housing of the camera without the plastic case on it. So the plastic case that's on the camera now comes off and this goes and fits directly behind the camera. I'll show you in the next episode. You can see how it fits snugly in. There's two versions of this. It slides conveniently in and out of any of the mounts. Now inside the box of the frame, you get an additional frame, which is larger. It's called the backpack frame, which accommodates an LCD screen that can be attached to the back of the camera or an additional external battery, which can be attached. Also, you get another flat adhesive mount and a curved adhesive mount. So now I have two of those each. 
and they are not reusable, so they'll come in handy. And then a lens cap, which will be placed on the lens because when the plastic clear case is not on it, there is no protection for the actual lens on the camera. And also I've added the 32 gig, 30 megabyte per second ultra micro SDHC, which is full HD compatible speeds, speeds up to 30 megabytes a second, and should more than adequately work with this camera. So there you have it, the unboxing of the silver edition of the GoPro Hero 3 and the option of the frame that came with it bundled from Costco. In the next episode, we'll get this thing running for you. So make sure you check back. This was my first unboxing. I hope I did okay. And I invite you to come back for part two where I'll show you how to operate the camera. Thanks for watching.